Good afternoon, fellow vault dwellers. How is it going? Did everyone watch the new TV show? Oh, by the way, I will not talk too much about new TV show in here as it's quite early and not everyone had opportunity to see it yet. So no spoilers. I will be not talking about the story of Fallout TV show. Maybe we'll have some little conversation about how good is the show, but yeah, no, no story really just yet. I will discuss it later, most likely when we all have an opportunity to watch it. As eventually we need to talk about it. It's part of the lore. It's official. The Fallout TV show is signed by Bethesda, so it's part of the Fallout lore. By definition, like everything that copyright holder is releasing about the topic is the lore. Yeah, I absolutely love the show. Amazing details. Like you can really feel like you are in there. You can feel like you are in there. Both pre-war and post-war universe is amazing. It's done really well. And as well, there is a lot of stuff going around Fallout games, around Fallout 76. There have been announcements and articles that will be jumping in. Let me see how many articles. Fallout.com. Did anything new appear in the meantime? There is announcement about the free play week, so you can play for free if you never purchase. Yeah, there is a bunch of info about Fallout. So let's let's dive in one by one. I'll let me switch my camera in a second, and I will answer your questions last this time around from Discord. Let's cover all the important topics. All the important topics first. As there is a lot. Okay. Mm. So here we go. The first article. Followed 76 free play week starts today. Set in the same universe as Bethesda Game Studios award winning role playing games that revolutionized the genre. The Followed TV series is available to watch now on Prime Video. To celebrate the occasion, Fallout 76 is free for a full week. That's now. So grab a friend, get into those smashing blue and yellow Voltex suits, and head out into beautiful post-war Appalachia. Play from level 2 or get a head start on your adventure with a level 20 battle ready dweller and enjoy all that sweet yet irradiating air. Beginning 12 p.m. Easter time on April 11, ending 12 p.m. Easter time April 18th. Followed 76 is playable for free on Steam, Xbox and PlayStation platforms. All you need to do to play is download the game on your platform of choice, Steam, Xbox Store, PlayStation Store. Once you sign up for or sign into a Bethesda Net account, you are all set to go and can freely explore all the Fallout 76 has to offer. Which is a really good move and I was expecting that to happen. Fallout 76 to be free to play when the show will release. I, I was surprised that they didn't announce it ahead of time. But maybe it was about the hype. Fallout 76 on sale. There's even more cause for celebration because Fallout 76 is on sale on all platforms. Get the standard edition, 80% off, or the deluxe edition, 67% off. The deluxe edition includes the high stakes bundle, so you will get the glamming honeypot or gold slot machine, the civic duty power armor, camp items to inspire your own glitz, and glam home in Appalachia and more. Existing Follow 76 owners can purchase the high stakes bundle separately, 50% off. Oh, come on, that's a ripoff. Give us 67, like, why only 50% off? That's still expensive. It will be, what, like 50, 15 quid with 50% off? The cosmetic bundle? 
sale timing varies by platform, but it's generally from April 9, 10 or 11 until 1924. I don't know why it varies so much, but it's generally now. <laughs> the sale is now. Casino style features may not be available in certain territories, including but not limited to Belgium, Czech Republic, Djibouti, Saudi Arabia, Ghana, Libya, Pakistan, Poland, and Thailand. So if you live in any of those countries, move out now. UK and United States are way more friendly if you want to lose your money in casino. Fallout 76 in Fallout 4 in the cloud. Just in time for the Fallout TV series, Fallout 76 and Fallout 4 are joining GeForce Now in both games, explore the irradiated wastelands and shape the future of humanity directly from the cloud. Okay, that's a surprise move. What's going on here? Uh, just if you are not up to date with that, I was hyped early on when GeForce Now was released. I started testing how the Fallout 76 ran on the cloud on GeForce Now. Then followed was pulled out from GeForce Now and now they are releasing it again on G. What is going on? Are they supporting GeForce or against? I'm getting confused now. <laughs> they back on GeForce Now, by the way. Don't know what's going on there. And I don't know if I want to try again. What if they pull it out? It's like the problem with cloud gaming. If something suddenly stops being available, you cannot access it anymore because it's all in the cloud. Survive in style. And why we are at it, we've got some Vault 33 themed attire for your Vault Dweller. Between April 9 and May 7th, make sure to claim your free Vault 33 jumpsuit in the Atomic Shop. If you are a Game Pass Ultimate member, you can also pick up the Vault 30 Survival Kit as a reward between April 11 and June 16. This intrepid adventurous bundle snacks you Lucy's Vault 33 backpack from the Fallout TV series and a host of consumable items like lunch boxes and per card packs. In addition to the following consumables, you will receive free score boosters. Okay, so Vault 33 backpack and consumables, but only Game Pass Ultimate. Usually it was as well, Amazon Prime doesn't look like it's the case anymore, so I will not get the backpack. I will not get the backpack. Get Ghoulish. Get Ghoulish on April 11th. Followed first members can claim this West Coast duster and hat in the Atomic Shop until my 9th. And I already did claim that it's a good looking outfit. The problem is we are not ghouls in Fallout 76, but still, non-ghoul cowboy. Support your favorite Fallout 76 streamer on Twitch. Also on April 11, exclusively on Twitch, 18 content creators are streaming the first episode of Fallout on their channels. Get the details over at Twitch. So I'm a little bit confused with that. They said they will remove the support for watch parties, then I think they return it. I don't know what's going on there. I got lost, to be honest, with this uh, streaming on Twitch. What's allowed, what's not, what's getting removed, what's getting added. If you aren't a Game Pass Ultimate member, but have your eye on that Vault 33 backpack, you can still get it. From 12 p.m. Eastern time on April 12th until 2.59 p.m. Eastern time on April 23rd, subscribe to any Fallout 76 Twitch streamer's channel and get the backpack for free. Just make sure that your chosen streamer is streaming Fallout 76 on Twitch at the same time that you subscribe. Oh. How that works? That's interesting. You need subscription on Twitch for someone who's streaming followed 76 in the moment of you subscribing okay that can be done 
I need to double check if my Twitch is connected with my follow. I think it is. So that can be done. So maybe I will get the backpack. I will work on that. It's overcomplicated, but yeah. That's what to expect from Amazon. Overcomplicated solution. Exclusively at Amazon. All right. Uh, there is more articles. Let me change it to the next one. That was just the first one. In a moment, let me just pick on the chat just in case I missed something. Hopefully I didn't miss anything important was said. Those streamers were allowed to stream it with clips disabled. Oh, I have no clue how that was working. Am I eligible? I hope when I will be streaming Fallout, I will be eligible. I cannot subscribe to myself, but you can. But only when I'm actively, like they said, I need to be streaming when you subscribe, not in any time. Yeah, it needs to be why streaming Fallout 76. I will be streaming. Don't worry. I usually stream Monday and Tuesday. Should I stream more on Twitch? I don't know. Like Twitch is my secondary platform. My pri primary platform is YouTube. As YouTube is more user friendly from my experience so far. And I do stream under Fallout 76 category. So I have it all categorized correctly when I'm streaming Fallout 76. Okay, uh, next. That was just the first article. Let me find next. And next is about Fallout 4. Okay, wait. Look at that. Fallout 4 is getting free updates. Return to the Commonwealth April 25th. So it's looked like I will be able to play with next gen for Fallout London. Hopefully, I want to do that. Fallout 4 upgrades are coming to next gen consoles. Bethesda Game Studios is releasing a free Fallout 4 update for download on Xbox Series X, S and PlayStation 5. This free update includes native applications for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, S, performance mode and quality mode setting, as well as stability improvements and fixes experience up to 60 FPS increased resolutions. Followed for players on PlayStation 4, Xbox One will also receive a free update with stability improvements, login and quest fixes. To download the update on a next generation console, you must own Followed 4 for that device. Update for PC players. We are also releasing a free Followed 4 update for PC players. Experience Follow 4 on your next generation PC with widescreen and ultra widescreen support, as well as fixes to creation kit and a variety of quest updates. Uh, wait. So are the graphics actually being improved or that just stability improvements? Is this a next gen or not? Or is it next gen, just the consoles getting higher FPS? different quality settings. Okay, I'm a little bit confused here. Players with PC version of Fallout 4 on Steam, Microsoft Store and the uh, good old games will receive stability, mods and bug fixes. For Japanese and Chinese language players on PC, Bethesda.net login issues have been resolved, fixing access to mods. Alongside this exciting update, Fallout 4 will be available to purchase on the Epic Game Store. Fallout 4 will also be Steam Deck verified. Mm. I'm not sure if that's actual next gen or fake next gen upgrade. Even more content. There's even more content in the Fallout 4 updates, including the following free creation club items. Enclave Remnants brings the pre-war cabal, the Enclave into Fallout 4's, Fallout 4 storyline in this new quest, Echoes of the Past. 
Can you stop the Enclave from spreading their dangerous ideology and gaining a foothold in the Commonwealth? Along with workshop items and the Enclave colonial uniform, we are including the following previously released Creation Club content. Okay, so some of the Creation Club content is added as free content for Fallout 4. Some of this stuff is really cool. I would play that together with Fallout London. Makeshift weapon pack. Okay, so that's about weapon packs. Some of those weapons are cool looking. Some of them are goofy, but some of them are cool looking. <laughs> what the, what's that? <laughs> okay. Halloween workshop. I'm not into camp building as much in Fallout 4. I never was. I was doing functional camps, combat camps, rather than good looking ones, as I'm not really good with good looking ones. And that's it. So did I miss something? Is that the next gen or is it not? That's April 25th, this particular update. It says releasing a free Fallout 4 update for download. This free update includes native applications, performance mode, quality modes. That's not the next gen. Nowhere there it says next gen. Shouldn't we get... So we're still waiting for the next gen or that's what we are getting and there is no next gen update. So usually the next generation update is improvement in the graphics, the significant jump. And here it just supports native stuff, native applications, 60 FPS, increased resolution. That's not the same as next gen. Stability improvements. Yeah, I mean, it's good that we are getting this update, but okay, I was expecting more. And I'm looking at console part, as it's saying here. It's nothing about next gen for consoles. It's just 60 FPS support and higher resolutions. It's improvement, but it's not what I was expecting. So that's resolution and FPS upgrade for consoles. So it will look slightly sharper and it will run slightly smoother. Uh, either this one or this, like you will choose. You want your uh, Fallout 4 to la run smoothly or be sharper. Okay. I was really expecting something else here. Oh, that's me. I'm pretty sure they were saying like it should be a full blown gen length gen update. And they were working on it for so long, over a year, over a year to implement 60 FPS and higher resolution. I don't know. Okay, there's one more article. Let's get to it before I sidetrack too much. And this looked like a followed shelter. Prime Videos Fallout comes to Fallout Shelter on mobile. What exactly is coming? We are releasing an update for Fallout Shelter on mobile that brings Prime Videos Fallout series themed content to your vault, including new quests. Download Fallout Shelter from Google Play or the Apple App Store today. Inspired by the recently released Fallout series streaming on Prime Video, this update adds one quest line with eight new quests to follow shelter as well as new locations and six unlockable vault dwellers including lucy and the girl it looks like a brotherhood soldier too i don't want to spoil the movies so i'm not saying who is that <laughs> brotherhood soldier 
and we are introducing new teams, weapons, and outfits featured in the show. Get a chance at the pre-war cowboy outfit, the girl's revolver, and even a wedding dress that comes with a party-crushing bandolier. You can also claim a Volterity jumpsuit for your dwellers just by playing between April 9th and May 7th. Okay, so that's, that's a quick one. <laughs> that's a short announcement about Fallout Shelter. I don't know what happened with Fallout Shelter online. It's supposedly a thing for China, and I was thinking it will come to us. It's exclusive. It looked like it will never come. It's exclusive to China. <laughs> so that's interesting. Yeah, there is nothing about better textures about this next-gen update. It's only higher resolution. So the same textures with higher resolutions. Rascal is saying 16 times the FPS. <laughs> yes, Benji Meister is saying we, you will be able to look at all textures at 4K. <laughs> that is exactly what's happening. What? Fallout London may not be compatible with April update? Oh, I, I, I want to play it on the app. Oh. oh, that's disappointing if that would not be compatible. I was thinking it's intentionally coinciding and the date is about the same. I would absolutely expect them to add ray tracing to Fallout 4. <laughs> That's a joke that would not run, but yeah, it could be improved. Like some of the Fallout 76 uh, graphic settings could be could be implemented in Fallout 4. It's not such a big jump. Oh yeah, I did about a track of Nuka Quantums in Fallout Shelter. I still have them there. I wasn't playing for quite a while. Not all of them, as so I spent some, but I still have Quantum. What if someone is already a sub? Yeah, that's a good question. What if someone... It's probably you need to either renew the sub during this duration or give a sub to someone. I think about the Twitch backpack stuff. It's most likely how it's going to work. In the past, it used to be you are just a Twitch Prime member and you are getting this stuff. Now it's no longer... no longer a case. Okay, let's jump and see how many questions I have on Discord to answer. Your trusty Voltec is at it. Let's answer questions. I have all very against each other logos. Voltec Labcoat, Brotherhood of Steel Banner, Overseer Chair. Who knows what's going on in here? Maybe I'm just a raider and I loot at all those items and hang them around my room and using them. That's a possibility. Turtle, the psycho raider, defeating all factions and stealing stuff left and right. Where did I stop last time? Okay, I think it's here. Okay, I'm switching the camera. First, just a few in inconveniences I had after the update and wanted to ask if I'm not the only one having them. 
the cremator doesn't do much damage toward objects. True, I'm using Peppa Shaker for that. My Union Helmet appeared on my new tab and end up being scrap, but now I cannot craft Union Power Armor, rendering my entire set useless. Yes, that's a new thread. The Union Power Armor is currently bugged. You cannot purchase plants because they are bugged and you cannot craft it at all. No one can craft it according to my knowledge. I cannot craft Union Power Armor. So yeah, it's a bug. The cremator not doing much damage toward objects may be most likely related to it uh, doing purely fire damage. The word objects seems to respond way better on ballistic damage so or energy damage. So Peppa Shaker recommended not the fire damage. Next. Hey Turtle, do you plan on doing any more vlogs or outdoor experiments in the future? Maybe, yeah. Those videos were interesting and I also wanted to know if you could provide any updates on those lifestyle changes you mentioned and how your journey has gone so far. I have been doing something similar after being motivated by your videos. Thanks again, Turtle. Yeah, I have, uh, if you don't know, I have this little channel when I was uploading those, my third channel, it should be in the description somewhere when I do upload this stuff and I should probably upload, I was doing one long running experiment that took me over a year uh, testing a barefoot shoe. So I have results by now and I should record it. I, I just need to put myself together and record a video about it and then more lifestyle videos, even though those are a niche videos, not too many people is watching them and this little channel is too small to even be monetized. I will upload. Yeah, I will go back at it. I know it's, it's helpful for some of you, so I will do it. I will get back at it. Next, is jailbreak even broken? I literally forgot of its existence when it suddenly popped up in my server after last time I played it over almost two years. Not that I care, the event is <laughs> rush, dollar store eviction, but I found its sudden appearance hilarious. I think it was bugged, then fixed, then bugged, then fixed, and I don't know where we stand at. Maybe it's fixed again and it's popping up, so that's a good news. Not a bad event, it's just low level player event. That's why not so popular. Next, I just log on to ask exactly the same question. Oh, I already answered, okay, good. So the cremator dot, does it stack? No. In example, if you hit a mob twice, do you have two dots on him? No, the next hit will refresh the dot that the second replace the first, yes, second refresh the first. Is there any way of actually knowing this? Yes, you can shoot a mob, uh, hopefully boss mob twice and you will see no difference. Say you are a low on fuel. Are you better just fully unloading or hit and run away than hit again when the first dot run out? If you are low on fuel, you should be able to achieve the amount of damage that you hit once and dot finishes them off, even level 100 super mutants. So, Hit and run. One shot so should wipe out entire room if you have half decent build for dot. Angry Ted, when do you get to multi-stream to YouTube and Twitch at the same time? I keep seeing many other streamers doing it and figure it would be really good for your income. It could be, like, I need to figure out how it works. I heard recently that Twitch updated terms of service and it should be allowed. I need to read it really fast myself if in my terms of service on Twitch it was changed. I will be honest, I'm one of those people that whenever they update terms of service and they ask you to accept them, I accept them without reading as that's way too much reading and I don't do it and I have like no choice. If I don't accept it, I cannot stream on Twitch. So whatever they put there, I accept it's like. It's a fake choice. Whenever there are terms and conditions update, it's always a fake choice. It's the same like when your bank is updating your terms of service. Do you, do you really want to leave your bank in case you press no, I don't accept? No, you don't. No one does that. But it's legal. You can keep changing terms and conditions as many times as you want if you are a provider of a service. So that's inconvenience. 
Next, what works with the cremator? Heavy gun bubblehead? Yes, Tesla 9. Forgot what Tesla 9 was doing, probably. And Secret Service torso modded with asbestos? Uh, yes. Is carnivore not better with all the buffs like lag boosts? No, it depends what you are using. Herbivore or carnivore, the two different. My favorite use case is being herbivore and popping herbivore serum every hour so I can access carry weight buffs from carnivore section when I'm a herbivore and I benefit from all herbivore buffs being boosted. It doesn't work as well other way around as I can care about crit damage. And carry weight buffs are not boosted by carnivore, so I just need to remove the side effects of herbivore. In case of crit damage boosters, they are boosted by herbivore, therefore I must be a herbivore. So that's my ultimate setup. Herbivore with herbivore serum running. Next, does solar armor heal friendlies in proximity? I'm seeing the effect pop up in my Pip Boy menu whenever my teammate gets close to me. Uh, they, it heals your teammates from your team when they nearby. It will not heal neutral enemies or, I mean, neutral allies, the white ones that are not on your team. They will not get healed. And the distance, I have a video somewhere. It was done long time ago, but I'm pretty sure the distance was like two foundations from you. That's how far the healing will work. And next, a, a few discoveries I made while creating a new character. You can reliably farm certain useful bubble heads like small guns, melee and strength. One small guns every two minutes doesn't sound bad at all. How do you reliably farm them while creating new character? I'm not sure. The shotgunner class gives you a 120 range pump shotgun 100% of the time which makes it the only way to acquire it. Level 15 though. You get a sizable bulk of junk materials, including 20 all and 20 springs each time. You also get a bunch of generic meds and you can repeat this farm by getting out of the vault every two minutes. Are they giving you bubble head now? I thought that all of this info could make for an interesting video. Okay, thank you for this info. I'm curious about this shotgun, like, is it really higher range than regular? Did they return the backed higher range shotgun as a gift to new players, but only level 15? Mm, okay, that's a good find. I did not test that. And um, Peaceful Gamer is saying, so Mr. Turtle, what do you think about the show without giving any spoilers? Without giving any spoilers, the show is awesome. So I was starting the turtle cast from saying that basically the show is awesome overall overall the show is nine out of ten i'm giving it as high of a score as i'm giving to the show silo so you know it's very good it's not the same style like silo show and followed show obviously different style but that should be a different style as followed his very specific style and Silo style will definitely not fit, but the same ranking. I'm giving those two the same ranking. The only bad news is I did try to probe some people that watch a little bit of episode one or full episode one that do not know anything about fall. Like they don't care. They never played. They're not really into it. They didn't rate followed show very high. Maybe you just you just need to know something more to rate it very high, or you you need to have some kind of predisposition for this type of a show. I can see why, like amount of gore, probably not for everyone. The dark, the dark goofy humor and stuff in post-apocalyptic universe. I'm guessing if someone do not really like sci-fi post-apocalyptic style, they will still not be convinced with follow TV show to start liking it. And, and I was really hopeful. I was like, what do you mean you, you don't think it's great? <laughs> like, how is that possible?
So unfortunately, that's the only bad news. But for me, it's definitely nine out of 10. So yeah, it's amazing for every Fallout player. The show is for sure amazing. I don't know for people that do not play Fallout at all, if they will start playing after the show. Will that work? The time will tell. Maybe those people just have poor taste. Yeah, I agree with you, Cadotus. You have terrible taste. That must be it. How much is it in terms of gamers? I didn't do any, like, I have a problem. Like, gamers I know do play Fallout. I don't really know gamers that do not play Fallout at all or do not like Fallout. So how do I ask gamers that do not play Fallout if they like Fallout TV show? I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I lack of... I lack of a sample of people from that kind that I could probe. So you need to provide test subjects here to, to my Voltec office and we'll try. We'll test it. Right. I absolutely love the Fallout TV show. The best thing, what would be the best thing about Fallout TV show? If I need to com compile it, is the feel of the universe combined with surprising amount of realism for this type of a show based on a game. Like, honestly, I was expecting it to be much more unrealistic than it actually is. What I even mentioned in my in my first uh, analysis of the episode one that I already uploaded to YouTube. Only watch it if you already watch episode one. Don't watch it before. But I was fully expecting, and I was really afraid that Lucy will be Superman. Basically, that's what I was afraid. As protagonist, I was afraid that Lucy will be a Superman, starts tossing everyone and be a superhero of the wasteland out of the get-go. But she's not. She's surprisingly realistic. So that was that was big positive shock for me. The a little bit like I'm confused about if I like or not. There is no VATS at all. The VATS do not exist in Fallout TV series. There is no VATS, there is no Voltec assisted targeting system. They don't know about it in those vaults. They didn't discover that people offer this option. It was not implemented there. I don't know. Yeah, I've seen mostly positive reviews myself. I myself only expect a different Brotherhood of Steel, but it's okay. Yeah, I was I was waiting for VATS to make appearance. I wanted to see how it will be implemented. It didn't make an appearance, but that's that's okay. It's not it's not something that I would cry about. We have VATS in game. But not everything we have in game must be in the TV show. It's not ecranization of existing game. It's based on the game set further in the future. That's not a spoiler. The, the timeline is when the f movie is starting. So we have further into the future than Fallout 4. We pushed it the farthest, so you know the future of a lot of stuff. What happened after all the games. Yeah, I can see how that would be difficult to implement in TV show. I understand that. And it would be aimbot. You cannot do stop slow time. Like that doesn't make sense. A little bit of a slow time, maybe if that would be connected with a 
stimulant. They should have access to jet. We didn't see any jet in action, but they should have access to jet in Fallout TV series. So that could give a slow time. A slow time is basically speeding up yourself. How does slow time work? Like realistically, if we talk about slow time effect in actual scenario, war, real world scenario, it would be a stimulant that hype you so much, accelerate all your functions, including your brain, your reflexes, your muscles, your movement speed. So you move faster than everyone else. It's not like everyone else is slowing down. It's you moving faster. But when you set the camera so you look like you are moving normally, everything else is slower. That's how the slow time is supposed to work in a movie. At least how I see that. It's not easy to implement, but there have been movies that implemented this very well. Matrix is one of them. There was different explanation, of course, but Matrix is one of them. It's not like the whole Matrix was slowing down. It's Neo who was moving faster. Yeah, we don't really know what <laughs> this first Raider that was shown took. As he didn't made it to really demonstrate. <laughs> But that was hilarious. That's the dark humor I'm talking about. If you didn't watch, I will not be saying any details. But the dark humor combined with this gore and the darkness of the universe on top of that, that's all, all hilarious. And I know that there are some people that were complaining about some aspect, but they are really in minority. Like even the openness, like the craziness of the vault and stuff, sexual content, for example, that was always in Fallout. That actually was tuned down in Bethesda iteration on Fallout. If you played a Fallout 1 or Fallout 2, you could have a perk. Uh, how do I say it so it will be YouTube friendly? for uh, frequent visits to the house uh, when... Uh, <laughs> you know what was there. I, can, I don't think I can say it safely to keep it PG. <laughs> you could get a perk for that. So yeah, the Fallout 1, Fallout 2 was darker and more like out of any morals, like that's a post-apocalyptic universe. Morals was left in civilized war before the nuke. So that's the war. It doesn't mean everyone must be like that. Everyone is like that. That's just the universe of Fallout, how it is in there. So that's actually lore. That's not against the lore. That is the true Fallout lore. The terrifying dark universe when the morals have been all abandoned, that is the Fallout lore. Yeah, I think everyone should try and watch Follow TV show, at least episode one, to make their mind if they like it and if they want to keep watching. The start of the show, like that, the spirit of the situation was captured brilliantly. The nukes dropping on unsuspected Americans, devastation, vaults, suspense, mystery, secrets of the vaults. I don't think it's much of a spoiler that I will say, like, the vaults that are in the TV show. You have vaults 31, 32, 33, and vault 4. So we're getting additional lore for vaults. The trinity of vaults and vault 4. So more lore. 
I don't know if anyone compile. Do we have like somewhere in the internet the com compile lore of all the vaults that we know about from Fallout games and now TV show? I don't know if we have. I need to Google it one day. If we have a list, maybe now. All, sorry. All followed vaults lore. List of known vaults. Oh, Wiki has it. Did they add it already? The ones from the TV show? What do they have on the list? Oh, they did. Vault 3, Vault 4. Okay, so there are still some missing. We have Vault 3, Vault 4, Vault 8, Vault 11, Vault 12, 13, 15, 17, 19, 21, 22, 29, 31. Oh, wow, there is a lot of them. The highest number is 118. Okay, so how many is there? Wait, I will count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six volts so far. So there is still more? But does that start giving us more volts to explore in Fallout? There is like 100, almost 100 to go. Without even going into higher numbers than already revealed. Give us more vault. But there is no, there are vaults. Oh, and don't watch any updated content if you didn't watch TV show yet about all the vaults, as people will include the new ones that you discover in the TV show. 31, 32, 33, and 4 are the, from the TV show, so watch TV show first. TV show will tell you what's inside those vaults, if it's starting in Vault 33, so yeah. Oxhorn has the lore, yeah, for Fallout, a lot of the lore. I Personally, I would be honest, I'm not a lore fanatic. I don't really obsess if there is slight inconsistencies here and there. I'm not, I'm not as much upset about it. If there is a huge conflict, that, that is a problem for me. If there is like slightly something do not fully align, I'm, I'm not really, really obsessed about it. And I'm not even able to remember. Like Fallout lore is huge at this point. We have all the Fallout games. Even if counting just regular Fallout games, you have Fallout 1. Fallout 2, Fallout 3, Fallout 4, and now Fallout 76. That's five that have Fallout and a number. And then we add the games that have Fallout and then like New Vegas, Fallout Tactics, Fallout Brotherhood of Steel. So like a side Fallout games. On top of that, there is huge amount of lore. Yeah, I don't talk TV spoilers. I cannot guarantee that no one in chat says anything, but I don't talk spoilers. And they absolutely captured the spirit of the franchise very well. Way better than I expected them to. Way better. The ones from the TV show are canon. TV show is canon. It's approved by Bethesda. It's part of the universe. Yeah, we are at 90K, 99k subs. So thank you everyone who subscribed here on YouTube. There is a chance we'll hit this 100k. Huge mark on the journey, 100k. So TV show is canon. 
basically how canon work canon works we do not determine what is and what is not as a players fans and viewers it's determined for whoever is currently holding a copyright the same as uh, okay the other franchise that changed a lot in the recent years and a lot of people do not like it i personally lost interest but from different reasons not about the lore of it but i'm talking about jedi what disney is doing with them like all these new series those are canon those are canon for the universe of force <laughs> i don't know how we call the universe is it jedi universe is it star wars universe so they change a lot but it still canon because they do hold a right for the series so whatever they do is indeed canon And Witcher 2, yeah, there was a lot of changes to The Witcher. I remember Witcher from all days. Like, I remember it from even before the video game first time was released. So I don't know if you are aware, but that's, that started, I'm pretty sure if I'm not mistaken anything, but it started as a book by a Polish writer. So I'm familiar with Witcher. Movie changed a lot. Netflix adaptation did a lot of changes. But as they hold the rights, they purchase it, they currently own it, it's, it's the lore. My favorite weapon to use with grenades in West Tech Experience Farm, it's whatever offers me the best damage boost for grenades, so like Fixer. Anti-armor fixer with perforating magazine or bloodied fixer with perforating magazine as that gives me a crazy damage boost or bloodied if you want to use bloodied so even better bloodied elders mark with armor piercing magazine that's the highest damage you can get as elders mark has 60% armor piercing and bloodied effect on top of that that's the best for grenades yeah the book series so I'm familiar with The Witcher and no, the latest Netflix adaptation is not the same as original Witcher. It's not completely different, but it is not the same. You can do instigating. The main reason I like to use Bloodied, if some of the super mutants do not die, I can toss another grenade and another grenade still has a full damage bonus. If I accidentally like if there is super mutant barely on the edge of grenade explosion radius and I'm using instigating, he will he will take such a little damage to the health bar because grenade lose damage with a distance. So then I toss another grenade that do hit correctly and instigating effect is already not working. And difference between full blooded boost and instigating, I mean full blooded boost, full blooded boost is 95, but realistically uh, you will have 80% at just nerd rage range. So 80% versus 100%, that's really small difference between instigating and bloodied. That's why I prefer bloodied. And I know they said that the show, TV show followed was not make for followed fans, but it's not true. It's I'm a followed fan and I enjoy the show a lot. So it's not true. Maybe they were aiming for people that are not followed fans yet, but it works so well that it's good for followed fans absolutely too. Okay, and that will be everything for this episode of TurtleCast. We are heading though for member hangout. I need to log in and do my dailies and some other stuff. Probably farm for a little bit more modules to maybe get this bloodied cremator one day. I still don't have it. <laughs> I have almost everything in this game and RNG Todd Howard is punishing me for not liking the new brotherhood of follow TV show. So I'm not getting my blooded cremator yet. 
maybe later. Okay, for now, I wish you a good watching sessions with Follow TV Show. Go watch if you didn't. Catch up. You don't want to wait until someone will tell you spoilers when you least expect that. I'm always afraid of that. That's why I was personally not happy that they released all episodes at once, as I was forced by myself to sit and watch them all in a row. So I would prefer them one by one, but they didn't do that. So I needed to watch all. I don't want someone to just jump in my face and tell me the ending before I will be on the episode too. So that's all I have to tell you. Go watch. Don't wait. Watch now. And members, see you now on the second stream member hangout. The link is pinned if it doesn't show for you. See you there. Everyone else, see you tomorrow on the stream. Bye.